Ola Foodies, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And today I'm getting ready to make a bolognese sauce, a la Mala style, of course. So let's go over what ingredients I've got here in this lovely pan. Now we're gonna start off here. Of course, I coated the pan with a quarter cup of olive oil. And I've used a half of a teaspoon measurement for the herbs that's in here. Now, what do I have? I've got oregano, basil, parsley, I've got some thyme, I've got rosemary, marjoram. And in the middle here, I've got some finely diced white onion, and that's about a half of an onion that I've used. Of course, on this side here, I've got here a half of a tablespoon of crushed red pepper, which I'm going to add in right now. Of course, it's the only one with a different measurement for now. And after I've sauteed all of these together and the onion is translucent, then I'm going to add a tablespoon of finely chopped fresh garlic to this. Now for the sauce, of course, I'm going to add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomato. And I'll be using a half of this can, which would be around about nine ounces of tomato paste. I've got around about a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese and around about one and a third cup, one and a third pounds actually of chopped meat, which I'll be using for this meat bolognese sauce. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and added a bit of heat to this lovely sauteed pan. And we are going to saute all of these ingredients together until they become soft, translucent, and very fragrant. Now to help the process along, of course, I'm gonna use my secret, which is not such a big secret. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of salt to get these onions sweated out, get a little bit of that moisture out. And of course, I'm using my favorite pink salt, and it's a blend of three. It's your pink Himalayan, pink Hawaiian, and pink Mediterranean. I love to use a blend of those three. So we're just gonna go ahead and let these bad boys hang out for a bit, saute, get translucent, and after they become translucent, then I'm going to add the garlic to this. So we're just gonna let this cook for a bit. So in our bolognese sauce here, I went ahead and added our, our um, crushed tomatoes. Next, I'm going to add now our lovely garlic. Add that in, get this all sauteed together. And I'm going to add some tomato paste next now to this. So let's get ready. We're gonna add about, about half of that can. And that of course is eight ounces and I love to add tomato sauce when I'm making any type of tomato sauce because it adds as a wonderful thickener because the one thing I hate is a liquidy runny sauce I like my sauce to be held together so when you twirl it onto some pasta it holds on to that pasta and you don't have a liquidy watery mess in the bottom of your bowl so we're gonna let these babies here cook here now for a little while. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do now is after incorporating this, I'm just gonna go ahead, let this cook for about five minutes, and then we're going to add our chopped meat. So it's been about seven minutes and I'm now adding our chopped meat to our sauce. Get this all incorporated nicely to be cooking and of course when this is almost done I'm going to blanch it actually with a half a cup of heavy cream sometimes if I don't have heavy cream on hand what I'll use is one cup of milk I know it sounds a little weird but trust me <laughs> well worth it and it works it is absolutely divine and it tastes amazing. So this now what I'm going to do is add around about a cup of water from that can 
and get this all incorporated and simmering. So at this point, what you want to do is add salt to taste. So let's get some salt and add that in. and nicely stir it in. I've got this low and slow and I got this on a beautiful simmer. I'm gonna put a lid on this and just let it cook away until I'm ready. Only when the sauce is done that's when I'm going to add the cheese. So let's put a lid on this bad boy and let it do its thing. There we go. All right guys, so we're gonna take a sneak peek and see what's going on with this bolognese sauce. It is cooking away beautiful. Look at that gorgeous simmer. And I think this is the point where I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of my heavy cream. I'm gonna go ahead and add around about a half a cup or so. Get that in. Now that cream does some amazing things to that meat, let me tell you. Not only does it blush the sauce beautifully, but my gosh, the flavor and what it does. And of course, you know, the stuff that makes up milk, obviously, its components. Uh, it's a fantastic tenderizer as well. So for this bolognese sauce, it's beautiful and thick. But we want to just cook it down just a bit more. So I'm going to keep on going low and slow with it. It looks amazing, smells amazing, and we're going to let it continue to do its thing. All right, there we go. All righty, guys. So our bolognese sauce is pretty much done. I've went ahead and I've taken it off the heat and it looks gorgeous right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skim a little bit of this fat off the sides, as you can see where the oil is accumulating, just right here on the bottom. And of course, I'm just gonna, just like so, get that spoon in there, pour it into one of those little pans. This way I've got a bit more of a heart healthy meal right there. And I'm just about to add the cheese into this and give it a good little finish that way. I think that's about all I need off of this. So let's go ahead, finish this baby up with some cheese. Yeah, baby. That's what we like. Cheese makes everything better. There we go. Is that a beautiful sauce or what? Now we're just getting ready. I've got my pasta water going over there. Ouch. <laughs> that wasn't smart. And um, getting it going. So we're going to add some pasta to this beautiful bolognese. And keep this separate and just ladle it over our pasta. There we go. How gorgeous is that look, huh? Beautiful. Let's get you in there for a nice, beautiful, tight shot. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Yeah, baby. That is a thing of beauty. And of course, bolognese a la monk style. Have to make it a little spicy with a little kick. Alrighty, so my pasta of choice is ready for tonight. This is some rollatini. And we're going to go ahead and put some of this beautiful meat sauce on. So let's take a look. Yep, get this nice and close. Ladle on some of that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Looking absolutely gorgeous. Check out that meat. 
white sauce. Check out that bolognese, baby. Bolognese a la mala style. And of course, I kicked it up a notch. Gotta have a little bit of spice. Because you know, spice is truly life. There we go. Now we're gonna add a little bit of cheese. Because of course, everything is better. some sliced or rather shaved arm which we're gonna finish with and take a look at that baby how gorgeous is that huh how gorgeous Ooh, baby and there you have it meat sauce a la mama style The bolognese a la mala style. Thank you for watching. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours and happy cooking, y'all. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Give us a like, follow, share, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.